So if you've ever wondered why you play better in practice than you do in matches, first of all, welcome to the club. I think most of us can relate. The main reason for that that we found is that in practice, obviously you're grooving technique, you're working on fitness, you're building a rhythm, and in competition, you've got this 2,000 pound elephant in the room called pressure that comes out of nowhere, locks up your knees, gets your feet to stop moving, your arm tightens up, and all of a sudden you're spraying the ball everywhere. And one of the main reasons I think that this happens is because we don't train with pressure built into each and every training session, right? We go out into the practice court, we feel good, everything's loose, and then we get onto the match court and it's a totally different animal. We have nine levels of simulated pressure that we use in our training, but the easiest way to get started is to start using targets when you train because how you hit the ball matters, but the saying goes where you hit the ball matters more. And so what you wanna do is bring out these cones and start working on your ability to hit to a specific spot. And what's great about this, number one, is it's binary. You're either gonna hit the target or you're not. And number two, you can actually build in competitive situations with your practice partner or with your ball machine that scores you versus your opponent. So every target you hit, you get plus one. Every time you miss the target, you get minus one, and you can play first to three, first to five, first to seven. And this is completely scalable. So you could have Roger Federer or Serena Williams or anybody on the other side of the court, and you could have a competitive training session and it would just scale. So if I were playing Roger Federer, obviously he would have a target at about the size of a, a pin needle, and I would have one that's two feet by two feet or three feet by three feet. If you wanna get better under pressure, start using targets and take the uh, free diagnostic tool we got down below. It'll tell you exactly what your score is under pressure, your ability to execute, your knowledge of tactics, and even the mental game. And that quiz is for free. You can click on it uh, down in the description. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it because we're gonna try and help more competitive tennis players get over this thing called pressure because I think that competition is really healthy when it's competition with yourself. So we're going to confront the fears of competing and we're going to do it by systematically building your belief in your ability to execute under pressure.